So, if you've ever wondered how to make a short video on YouTube or TikTok or any other platform, this video might be for you. So, first you have to shoot a video. And with me, that usually means shooting my dog. Well, no, not literally. Um, meant like more like filming the dog with my cell phone. And I have a channel that's mostly about dogs so this is quite natural for me so this is what i shot and uh, let's see how how to edit it personally i have liked using canva for doing the edits so this video is going to be about canva so now that you have the video on your phone you go to gallery open it up and press the share button and uh, when the share opens up, you can choose Drive. At least that's how I do it. I put my videos to Google Drive so I can have access to the same videos from my computer. There are probably other ways to transfer files also, but this one has been quite okay for me at least. So first you go to canva.com um, if you're not using the platform already and you register and then you can start designing and when you see this screen opening up you just pick the mobile video and now your video that you took earlier is going to be on the google drive this is my drive in the screen now and you can see the video that i took it's named Isla on the bed and I'm just going to download that one to my computer and here you can see my downloads I've blurred most of them but you can see the one that I uh, just downloaded from the Google Drive so then you go back to Canva and on the left side you will see uploads click on that one and upload the file from your computer that you just downloaded from the Google Drive and it should appear shortly on your Canva. Quite simple. Here you can see all the videos that ha I have previously uploaded and on the left top corner of the videos you can see the one that is being uploaded right now. And on your right here, you can see the design view and on the left you have all the previously uploaded files. So you just drag the recent one that you just uploaded to the right and then you can start designing the video. So basically Canva offers a lot of stuff you can add to your videos, all kinds of images, graphics, pictures, even videos. Um, sound effects, music, basically whatever. So they have quite a robust library of stuff you can put on your videos. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just add a thought bubble and some text and then some music to the background. And let's see how it's done. So on the left side of your screen, you will have elements. You click that and then there's the search bar. You can type whatever you want to search from the elements there. And um, so I thought I'd be putting in a thought bubble. So I typed thought bubble into the search and uh, Canva will provide me with a bunch of different thought bubbles. And you just pick one that seems fitting and uh, then you can place it wherever you want on the video. And now you can see the thought bubble appeared on the video. You can see it on the top. And um, so now you can adjust it. Uh, you can resize it, do whatever you want, place it anywhere you would like to. And from the bottom, the slider on the bottom of the screen, you can adjust the time. So you basically right click on the, on the thought bubble and uh, it gives you the possibility of adjusting the time. 
you have to click the show time first and then you just can uh, drag it back and forth and adjust the length of the visibility of the thought bubble in the video. Now I have an empty thought bubble um, and then I need to add some text so I go to the left click the text and then add a text box and then I just type what I want and uh, resize it and choose the font and so on and uh, just place it into the thought bubble. So here you can see the result. So I have paused the slider on the bottom of the screen and you can see the thought bubble and uh, the text have been adjusted there so they both are visible for like two and a half seconds here so that was not too hard I hope then let's add some background music I have been using the joy spring music um, don't know if it's a band or something but Canva has a lot of uh, their songs they're mostly instrumental quite peaceful so that's suitable for background you just go to the elements on the left and then you go to the search bar and uh, type joy spring and it'll give you uh, quite a long list of different songs and if you go to the icon of the song a play button will appear so you can listen to the songs before you decide which one to use and so you just basically pick one of those songs and uh, drag it to the right uh, underneath the bar on the bottom of the screen. So here you can see the music has been added underneath the video on the bottom of the screen. And uh, then I want to adjust the volume because it's supposed to be just background music. So I will adjust the volume to 10 so it's not too loud and I will also adjust the audio effects so that it has uh, some fade in and fade out. Oh man, I have forgot to put some music onto this video also. So let's add some music here so it's not so boring me just talking here by myself. What I usually like to do now that the video is almost ready, I would like to add an end screen so maybe about five seconds and um, I will go to my uploads on the left and there you can see a lot of pictures that I have taken and uploaded to Canva so most, most of them are dog related so I'll just pick one from the left and add it to the slider where you see uh, you have the video and the music underneath it on the right there's a plus you just add the picture there, you drag it from the left to the plus, so it'll appear there. And on this 5 second end screen, I'll just go back to the elements, and if you want to, you can use the search bar again to write, for example, like or subscribe, you get those icons that I just added, and then I also went to the text on the left and added an another text box that has the text more of me on the channel so you just basically put them there and that's about it now your video is ready to go now that your video is ready you go to the right there's a share button push that one and uh, you scroll down a little bit and you can see download click that one and uh, it will start downloading your video to your computer. So the next thing you'll do is uh, open up YouTube Studio and on the right top you can see the plus sign. In my case my YouTube Studio is in Finnish so sorry about that but it should say create over there so I click that one and the first choice on the top of the list will be create videos this screen will pop up and you just click the black button that says choose the files i'm guessing that's what it's gonna say in english so when i was designing the video in canva 
I named my video Watchdog Having a Break. So just find that one, upload it to YouTube, and uh, I also left it as my title on the video. Then you just add a short description of the video to the description box and uh, you're quite good to go. And publishing the video in YouTube, you have to answer some questions first. So basically you just click on no, it's not made for kids. And uh, then you choose the category, which in my case is pets and animals. And uh, I like to leave the comments on, so if somebody has to say something about my video, that's okay. And uh, yeah, then you, in this screen, you see on the bottom right, you see the next button. That's the Seuraava in Finnish. You just click that one and uh, then you just adjust the time when you want your video published. So this is the last screen you're going to have before you publish the video and you can choose the time when your video is published and I chose today 7 p.m. because of some of the analytics suggest that it's a good time for me to publish videos they might get some views even so that's basically it then you just click the timing button button on the right bottom and then it's all clear and then you can go and see from the channel that you go to your short videos and you can see the on the top is the one that you just created and uh, uploaded so it's going to be um, published today July uh, sorry July 10th and uh, it was 7 p.m. so now we just wait and uh, see how it's going to do so thank you for everybody who got this far um, this was supposed to be a short tutorial about making short videos using canva but what seems to happen with me is that all the videos just keep growing longer and longer sorry about that but hopefully it makes at least some sense and uh, if you want to butcher me on the comments, of course, feel free and uh, maybe see you on the next video. Thanks.